what is up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to true boost and we are here at high in boxburg on a beautiful sunday morning because we need to actually change some tires on the lexus because they were looking a little bit too rough for the long drive that we are making to swat Cup's raceway today for super tracks yes that is right we are finally going to skid the lexus in a safe environment which is what i always recommend so guys today is going to be absolutely awesome we're getting all of this done and then we're just going to pop some fuel in the car and head straight to the racetrack and get skidding so stay tuned it's going to be an absolutely exciting and amazing video thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure to leave a like subscribe and stay tuned for an amazing video of skids You guys just saw that the Lexus now has four new tires on which is amazing that is probably the first new thing that I've put on the car but right now we just finished up filling up grab some snacks from inside and we're gonna head on to the track it is already 10 o'clock so it just started so we're not gonna be too late and when we get there straight to the skid pan and throughout the day I'll show you guys all of the amazing cars all of the amazing things happening today on the main circuit and on the skid pan it's just going to be an amazing day. So come along and let's get. Swartkop's Raceway and as you guys can see down there is the skid pan it's actually really really relaxed and quite a nice vibe we've got some Scoobies out here we've got some 86s Beamers uh, even some Hyundai i10 so yeah we're gonna wait until the layout change and then we're finally gonna put the Lexus on the wet and see what it can do and see what I can do um, it's gonna be a learning curve but you guys are gonna see me from my first ever skid pan day to FD so yeah that's at least the goal guys and the dream so it, it starts here it starts here and it starts with just getting out there and doing it so yeah I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys learn something maybe maybe you might even learn something
So as you guys have seen, I have been struggling a little bit with the Lexus, but you know, that's just because I'm getting used to the car number one. And this is my first time actually doing this for real and not in a setter. So yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to. The worst thing I'm feeling is the body roll. It's really throwing me off uh, quite a bit, especially with this uh, heavy, heavy luxurious boy. But um, yeah, it's the last run now before lunch. So let's see if I can get or connect some of these cones and yeah, and start lunch on a good note. But yeah, let's see it. guys it is so crazy that um, yeah we've actually been skidding a little bit uh, beginning the hang of the car beginning a hang of um, 
what I'm feeling from the car. The feedback through the suspension is crazy because obviously having a Seto Corsa being the only kind of means for drifting that I have, actually getting this much feedback is, it's teaching me a lot. So yeah, it's open practice now and I think we're gonna do one or two more runs and then call it a day guys. So thank you for coming along on the journey. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy these last, um, whether it's one or two runs, I hope you guys enjoy it. What a beast. Thank you to that beast today. Um, the welder diff held up perfectly fine and better than, better than perfectly fine. You know, today was so awesome just having this car and um, being able to do something like this. Thank you so much to Swartkops Raceway for doing super tracks every single month, allowing us to come out and actually use our cars for what I believe they were meant to be used for. Guys, thank you so much for staying tuned as well. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one because Drift Masters is next week and we're having our first ever grassroots drifting event attached to that. So if you guys have some time, come on through to the Rock Raceway, it's going to be awesome. But until then, keep well and keep boosting. Ah, before, <clears throat> before you go, we were leaving Swartkops and I heard something. Let me, let me let me give you a closer closer listen to that. That dear friends <clears throat> is a hole in the exhaust or in the manifold. Uh, probably because this was the first time this car in 318,000 kilometers. It's probably the first time that that, that this thing's been. Um, or at least put through that so yeah it's almost i would say time for a new exhaust for this baddie but stay tuned